what's up guys i'm about to hit the range and i figured i would film this at home before i get there because it's probably gonna be some people there and it's gonna be loud with a lot of gunshots so i'm gonna be shooting my father's 6.5 creedmoor today this is just the remington 700 adl we have a uh, primary arm scope on top of it and the two bullets i'm going to be shooting today are the uh, barnes ttsx and these winchester copper impact bullets these are both solid copper monolithics so you can see here that Winchester has that nice big ballistic tip where the Barnes has the standard size tip. Uh, these guys, the Winchester's 125 grain bullets and these Barnes are 120 grain. So I actually shot these the other day, but I forgot my chronograph. So we're going to go back today and chronograph them. These are advertised at 2,910 feet per second. Where these are advertised at 2850 feet per second. So 2850 seems a little bit more realistic for this weight class. I don't think we're going to be getting 2900. Um, but we shall see. Now the other day I went. And I did shoot some groups. But I had, did not have my chronograph with me. So we have the Winchester here on the left. Barnes here on the right. So these Winchesters. Um, nice evenly placed group here. Um, which is. What are we at? So just about three quarters of an inch. This group here. Now the barns, I had two touching and then one over here. So overall group size is really about an inch. Um, this is where shooting a five shot group would be nice to see, you know, do the other ones fall in with this little grouping or, you know, does it come over here? I don't know if that was me or the ammo. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go shoot some more with the chronograph, get some velocity speeds and then a uh, later date, shoot some gel. So our average is 2840, max of 2869, a minimum of 2823, SD of 25, so not the best standard deviation. Now, advertised was 2850, so we are actually getting advertised velocity, and this gun does have a 24 inch barrel. So we got an average of 28.25, which is a little bit slower than advertised, 29.10, high of 28.71, low of 27.97, with a standard deviation of 39.9. So that's pretty terrible, actually. In terms of advertisement and velocity numbers, the Winchester's getting the win on this. All right, so we just shot the Winchester Trophy Copper round. You can see the wound channel here. This first block I was able to melt down. I did not have time to melt down the second block. The bullet stopped right there. So we're about a little way, halfway through that second block. I did set some boards up in the back of these because when I was testing these out with the 308, it went through both blocks of gel. Now the dilemma of shooting two bullets in the same block is you know, shot placement. So I was aiming to the left Hit a little bit more left than I was hoping, but still in the block. That's not really going to affect the wound channel when it comes to clear gel. So, decent wound channel. I mean, not huge or anything, but in this clear ballistic gel, you don't get huge wound channels to begin with. The red tip is there. There's a little bit of a fragment there. Not bad. All right, so I'm going to set this up again, and then we'll shoot it with the uh, Barnes TTSX. All right, guys, so that second shot with the Barnes TTSX I hit dead center. You can see the wound channel here. Definitely smaller than that Winchester Deer Season XP. Now, it knocked over all the boards and everything. I don't see a bullet here, but this wound channel, I think, is new. I think that bullet came through and tumbled and bounced into all this shit. So let me dig around here, and I'll uh, get back to you in a second. Okay guys, so I was wrong. I put the blocks back together. That Barnes was not this wound channel here. It says bottom wound track. It tracked downwards 
like this, hit the wood. I had this piece of wood against it. It blew a chunk out the back. This block or board was standing pretty much straight up and down. Now looking down over here, the bullet is right down in there. And there we have it. I gotta be honest, this is not good performance for 100 yards. This thing barely opened up. I mean, definitely enough to kill something, but not impressed. I'm gonna try to shoot these at 300, and honestly, at that distance, they probably won't expand at all. But let me get these gel blocks home, and we'll take a better look at the blocks and the uh, bullets. All right, so I got these gel blocks back home, set up the same way they were when I was shooting them. We got the Winchester right here in the front. You can see the pieces of red ballistic tip. Now that bullet stopped right here. I already dug it out just to make this go a little quicker. You can see right where that bullet stopped and where I pulled it out. So I had the tape measure upside down just because of how the blocks are, but that bullet was right at 25 inches. Now the barns, you can see on the back side here. Now if you look at the wound channels, the Winchester is definitely a bigger wound channel. That barns went through and then came out the bottom of the block. Get this out of the way. Came through the bottom of the block there. So the Winchester did more damage, which makes sense because it stopped where the barns kept going through, so it was kind of clinging to its energy a little bit. So let's take a look at these bullets right now. Let me uh, throw the camera in the tripod. All right, so here's the two bullets. You can see the Winchester expanded a lot bigger, so that's why it slowed down more. Now, looking at it this way, you can see how much more the Winchester peeled back, too. Um, that was all the way to the bottom of its expansion cavity, where the barns, there's still a lot to expand. So, for 100 yards, this is surprising. I really expected more from the barns. Um, I think 200 yards would probably be about the maximum range you would you know, be able to get these to open up at. So, if we look, just take a quick measurement, even though they're all copper, so it should be good. All right. We're missing half a grain, so that's just the ballistic tip. Take a measurement of the width. All right, point four five. We got four four. So not even two times expansion. So for a hundred yards, pretty disappointed in the barns, and it's not like it's a slow moving bullet. We got the Winchester. Missing a grain and a half, which is probably still just that ballistic tip. The Winchester does have a much larger ballistic tip. So this one with these pedals that are sticking out to the side is at 0.7. So I think this might be a little bit of a fluke the way these pedals peeled back. Um, normally I don't think it would get that wide. It would just, you know, resemble these two pedals. But what's weird to me is how these peel back. I see this little kink right here. It appears to me that the bullet these pedals started to peel back like the other ones, and then, then they got pushed forward, which is why you got this kink here, um, which the only way that would really happen would be if the bolt was tumbling. Now, I don't see any signs of tumbling in the gel, but um, it might have done it in the second block where the bullet was going slow enough to not really make a very large wound channel. Not really sure what to make of it, but for this test, I'm going to say these Winchesters definitely won. I would definitely like to do another shot just to see if they do this again or what happens, but... uh. Next time I'll try to push it to 200 yards and see, you know, does the barns expand at all and uh, how this one does. But like always, guys, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.